Now let's move to our backyard. Cue up the rafter cam. We got a new tea time. Taylor and Tim in the building, and it's time to sip, folks. Yeah, we're sipping some tea. Taylor in the house. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing great. Awesome, awesome. So we're going to go ahead and kick it off. So after holding out of using social media apps, Jay-Z rejoins Instagram to make an announcement about this biblical epic film. He reactivated his page Tuesday morning just to upload the trailer for the biblical epic, The Book of Clarence. Jay-Z is the executive producer of this drama, which stars Lakeith Stanfield as the main character, Clarence. And Clarence is a Jerusalem native who is a streetwise, but down on his luck man, struggling to make a better life for his family while trying to emerge from debt. So captivated by the power and glory of the rising Messiah and his apostles, Clarence risks everything to carve his own path to a divine life and ultimately discovers that redemptive power of belief may not be his only way out. And Jay-Z even told Vanity Fair back, uh, magazine he is concerned people will immediately just focus on the religious aspect of it and not just the human story. And so the film is set to premiere January 2024. And this is a big deal because Jay-Z doesn't get on social media. Right. So for him to promote this, this must be a big film coming oh, out. It should okay. be interesting. It should be. So, Tim, you know yes. how to ask you a question. Give it to me. So if you could make a film about a biblical character or story that the world needed to hear, what would that be? Wow, biblical story. Um, yes. Barabbas. Okay. So Barabbas is, you know, when, when they, uh, Pilate gave uh, the people the choice whether they could have Jesus or Barabbas, uh -huh. and they said, free Barabbas. <sighs> Here's this guy who was, you know, mm -hmm. he gets free just because they, they want to take Jesus. What, what happens then? How does that affect him going forward? Right. That's I'd like one. to know how that's that story. Oh, that's that a good be. idea. A lot of people don't know about that story. It could be an interesting one. Well, also next for the morning tea, we have some upcoming events. So what does Wayne Newton and Usher Raymond have in common? I know they're kind of opposites. They both sing. They, uh, uh, there we go. Both entertainers and maybe, I know Wayne Newton's Vegas. Uh -huh. Is Usher now Vegas? He is. There you go. You got <laughs> right. it. You got it. Okay. <laughs> so they both will be extending their residencies in Las Vegas. Wayne Newton just announced that he will continue his ongoing resi residency at the Flamingo Hotel through next summer. The 62 shows will start January 13th to June 12th, 2024. And the singer known as Mr. Las Vegas has performed over 50,000 shows for over 40 million people. So, you know, the tickets start at eight. $82, but this is not including fees. And then also, Usher is announced that he will extend his residency at Park MGM through December due to popular demand. Tickets are now on sale, and the eight-time Grammy winner began his residency in July 2022 and has gained a lot of attention since a lot of his moments have went viral online. So, But those tickets start at $400. Woo! Woo! It's high ticket. Yeah. Do you do you think you'll be attending either Usher's or Wayne's? You uh, know, concert because you have eighty two dollars. Then you have the four hundred dollars. Well, yeah, eighty two <laughs> sounds a lot better. <laughs> and, and I think if if I was in Vegas, I think to go see Wayne Newton, my uh -huh. my, I, you know, just for the the. I saw Wayne Newton in Vegas. Kind yeah. Of like, yes. I feel like I'd have to check that out. Yes. Plus he's he's eighty one. Oh my goodness. That's that's. that's Woo, he's still kicking, but that is good. He's almost as old as his ticket price. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Also, for Taylor's Hidden Treasure this week, we have Rock the Dock at Ooh. Forest Park. All right, so you guys make sure you go out to the Boathouse this Sunday from 4.30 to 10 p.m. You can enjoy an exclusive brunch and day party lakeside with a beautiful sunset view at the Boathouse. This will give you the opportunity to mix, mingle, and network as well. Um, tickets start at $35, so not that bad. And you can purchase them. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Uh, you can purchase them on eventbrite.com. Don't miss out on this brunch lakeside with mimosas and margaritas. There you go. There you go. That's the tea. We got more coming your way. It's the 9 a.m. Yeah, let's play that usher. Let's crank it up. <laughs> go for it. We're